Creating graphs for architectural renderings in 3ds Max often poses a few challenges. The first challenge is getting the grass to look like grass and not a green textured flat area. Even when using very high quality texture maps, this can be a difficult task. Click Render Production from the main toolbar to render the current scene. When the rendering is complete, pay close attention to the grass. This uses a nested set of noise maps with a green coloring to give the visual look of grass. However, it's not very convincing because the grass is only a texture map on the ground. Even though there is a bump included with the texture, the grass is not three dimensional. This is the other challenge for creating grass in 3ds Max. Luckily, the hair and fur tools within 3ds Max offer a surprisingly convincing way to create large areas of grass. In the exterior camera viewport, click Site Grass to select it. In the command panel, change to the Modify tab. From the Modifier dropdown, choose the Hair and Fur World Space modifier. As soon as you add the modifier, you will see giant grass fill the view of the camera. In order to make the hair look more like grass, you need to change a few of the general parameters. Scroll the Hair and Fur Modify panel until you find the general parameters rollout. Currently, there are 10,000 hair strands being generated with five segments each. To reduce the overall complexity along with the render time, change the hair segment's value to 2. This creates each blade of grass using only two segments. Reducing the number of segments speeds up rendering at the cost of flexibility of each blade of grass. The cut length determines the overall length of each blade of grass. Set the cut length value to 7. Right now, each blade looks like a small triangle. Fix this by changing the thickness of the roots. Set the root thick value to 0.5. Now each blade looks a little more like grass. The next step is to set the color of the grass. The coloring of the grass can be defined using either the color values available in the material parameters rollout or texture maps. Click the tip color swatch. In the color selector, change the hue value to 80 and click OK to accept the color change. Click the color swatch for the root color and change the hue value to 85 and click OK. Leave the hue variation and the value variation at their defaults. This will add color variation to individual blades of grass. There are two ways of increasing the number of blades of grass. The first is to increase the hair count in the general parameters rollout. The second is to use the multi strand parameters. Open the multi-strand parameters rollout. Count determines the number of strands to be generated at each blade. Set the count value to 25. In order to see all 25 of the blades, the root splay value needs to be increased. Set the root splay to a value of 0.25. Immediately, you can see an increase in the number of blades in the viewport. Before you perform a test render, open the Rendering menu and choose Effects. This opens the Environment and Effects dialog to the Effects panel. In the Effects area, click Hair and Fur. There are three options for rendering each hair. The Buffer option is an overlaid image of the rendered hair that visually appears to be rendered directly into the scene. Geometry treats each hair as a polygon object and renders it as if it were geometry in the scene. From the Hairs dropdown, choose the MR Prim option. The Mental Ray Primitive makes each strand of hair a Mental Ray Primitive object. This not only renders quickly, but is treated as geometry in the scene. Set the MR Voxel Resolution option to a value of 20. This setting increases the quality of each rendered blade of grass. Now you're ready to render the scene. Click Render Production from the main toolbar. 
Once the scene renders, pay attention to the fact that the grass now grows from the site. The grass geometry, the grass geometry is fully three-dimensional and looks much more realistic. Hair and fur is a simple way to create large areas of three-dimensional grass. You can experiment and make changes to the coloring, the count, and even add dynamics such as wind to make the grass more realistic.